it's always a situation where I'm just like these stupid Nissan, I love your product, but why are your dealerships staffed by morons? <laughs> What's happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting here today to try to give you however much information I can so you can decode and negotiate your best possible deal on the Nissan Rogue all-wheel drive. Let's get down to it. Nissan Rogue. I should say Nissan first. Nissan, first of all, if, if somebody from Nissan corporate is seeing this, I actually love your product. Like I, I, I thoroughly love your product. Your dealerships need some work. Like we gotta like sit down. Let's, let's talk about it. Call me. Anyway, so my local dealers, they're all the shadiest in the business. However, one of them put out an advertisement that's actually pretty spot on. So 217 a month. Can you see this? 217 a month zero down which got me into a little bit of trouble on my first deal ever and that's sort of the reason why i tremble every time we have to work on a nissan deal so that's pretty much what they're going out for and i'll tell you why right now so nissan operates regionally now if you've got a nissan dealership in your area that's offering this car for about this much money and you get there and it's including all sorts of stupid rebates, push for that number anyway. Push for like 200 bucks a month with just your taxes and fees down because that's what it should be going out for. Now, if you're trying to purchase this car, here's where it gets kind of tricky and pay attention because this is another reason why Nissan dealers are confusing. So Nissan operates regionally, as in every region has different incentives all the time and they change all the time one region will offer more lease cash than purchase cash and then another region will offer both and then you'll go out to like the midwest and you know purchasing is more popular so they offer more it, there's so much confusion but how you decode this confusion log on to the nissan i'm gonna get close so this is where it's getting kind of serious log on to the nissan website build your own then you go to the summary or like the estimate payments page and you'll see like on the very but on the very bottom it'll start to deduct all like the the rebates or like the lease cash and it'll tell you if you got like zero percent financing available all that stuff will be on the nissan website now nissan as far as discounts that they're not going to tell you on the website what i'm talking about right now is the discount like what the dealership buys the car for that you can haggle with them below that. So if they own the car for, let's say like eight to 10% below whatever the MSRP is, whatever the window sticker price is, if they own it for 10% less than that, negotiate to 10%, then deduct all those rebates. Don't get tricked because your region has like a $2,500 rebate and you think that that's the best that they're going to do. They're making full profit when you do that. Go after the 10%, then deduct those rebates. If you're looking at a higher trim, I'm going to give you an estimate right now. If you're putting down just your taxes and fees, do it start. $220 a month is a good deal on a Rogue S all-wheel drive. If you hop up to the SV, then you're starting to talk about like $275. If you're hopping up to the SL, then you're talking about like $330. It goes in those big jumps because the MSRPs are going in big jumps. However, that 10% will always stay the same. Here's another important aspect of these deals. Nissan offers 0% financing. However, Nissan offers that 0% instead of rebates that are available if you're going to be financing the car. Now they'll offer like $2,000 in customer cash or bonus cash. That comes if you're not gonna be using the 0% financing. If you're a person that's gonna be putting a big chunk of change down on the car and your overall finance charge isn't gonna be much, then yeah, 
don't take the 0% and like, let's say your credit is great. So you got like 1.9 or like 2.24 from your credit union or whoever you're with. Take as much cash as you can and use that to really, really bring down the purchase price of the car. If you're a lease customer, Nissan has a bunch of tiers for their credit approvals. So if you're not a 720 plus, expect more interest on your Nissan lease. That may possibly be why you're not getting the same lease payment that they were advertising and they're not trying to screw you over. That's just another aspect of how Nissan dealerships are confusing. I really hope that this video helps you in your quest to negotiate the Nissan Rogue. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I try to reach everybody back as quickly as I can. Please consider subscribing. Thank you. If you're seeing this on Facebook, bro, share it because like half of your friends on Facebook are probably looking for a rogue or know somebody looking for a rogue. So do them a favor. And if you're seeing this on Instagram, feel free to just double tap the heck out of your screen. Triple tap. We'll see you next time, guys.